You're listening to the Saturday Night Gaming Podcast, Project Paradox. Hope you enjoy. You, sir. We do have advantage. Yes. You have the mana brick loaded? He does have oh, the mana brick loaded. Oh, man. I lose the image. 15 plus. Uh-oh. <coughs> Uh-oh. <coughs> oh, no. Okay. Now, I could re-roll, but I could get worse. I don't could. want to get worse. But we literally just killed a party member. Well, it was on accident. And you should have like exploded me near like the giant dragon. That's true. I, I did wait until the giant dragon stumbled away from you. Yeah. That seemed like the safe choice at the time. Yeah. Alright, so this one right here is going in the jail. Of course, we've always known that using mana slivers was probably the more dangerous way of healing yourselves. Yeah. I think you 26. All right, 26 total. Yeah, 26 uh, total for the roll, and the damage would be... Oh, my God. <laughs> 27. And what's the element? <coughs> the element? <coughs> That's why I went, uh-oh. 27? Yeah. Radiation. All right. What else is new? So as this one explosion <laughs> is going off, Chernobyl yeah, again. You see, Bones has basically tucked and rolled into a corner, pulled out his sniper rifle. He's got that mana brick in it. He's aiming his shot. He sees that the dragon is stumbling <coughs> back from everyone, and he breathes out, pulls the trigger, and this streak of green light flies through the air, hitting its left wing as this small radioactive explosion sets off on its back, blowing the wing asunder. More of its rib cage exposed and radiation leaching onto his bones. I am very glad I was already dodging from something. <laughs> That's the end of your turn now. Everyone can roll for dex or strength to... This will be a area of effect. Okay. With advantage, or since it's AOE, with advantage for now. Oh yeah. yeah. Roll twice, take better too. I was already in the middle of trying to dodge, so. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Thirty-four. Everyone succeeds. So basically, as he's stumbling back from now this new great pain, he smashes down into the ground, but it causes a seismic shift in the opposite direction of you. And each of the remaining priests in their old age is caught by this seismic power as they are crumbled beneath the ground that is shooting up at them. The poor 23-year-old priests died in their old age. Yes, they were quite young when you first saw them, and now they are elderly, and their bones have shattered under this force as they fall to the ground. And he begins to siphon what remains of their life force. I will give you this moment, this turn, to try and... Stop that. Stop the siphoning of energy. I'm just taking a shot. All right. Loading. Reload. I am trying to basically shove their bodies 
like shove the old people away mm -hmm. from him trying to get them out of his reach so that maybe i can keep him from drawing all of their life force okay and burrito but how about you um i'm just really sad i understand that but the dragon is siphoning energy to heal himself from the priests and you are enraged well other than throwing a bunch of crap at him i don't really know what to do i'm gonna throw a bunch of crap you're at him. enraged throw a bunch of crap at him i can keep it you just said at i was gonna do that do you not want to be compelled it's my idea though oh yeah i get it it's not your idea she sounds enraged <laughs> every session why don't you throw some more of those chips at me? Why do you keep offering me these things? That's my idea. 27 to get the bodies away. Awesome. All right. 31. Okay, so you're doing the meteor shower thing? Yeah, but... I'm even more glad that I'm trying to get the bodies away. Is he, like... <laughs> he's nearby, so... So you said the AoE, I always get this confused, the AoE is not an extra effect, it's just, it's going to hit him. It's going to hit him. Right. If there were more of them, then you would be hitting more of them, but right now there's only a single target. Oh, he should have left, like he was going to. He can't fly away now. Yes. He's missing a wing. One frozen wing, one part gone. Part of his rib cage. No, I mean like, Sam was initially going to leave. Well, oh. Yeah, he was. And then he came to the helicopter. And then he instead. started helping his friends. Yeah. Okay. This is sad. Fourteen damage. That's that's why you never help your friends, kids. <laughs> All right. That. So Maziel, what you would see is he rushes forward and goes nah swipes his hand as all of the crushed bodies of the priests are mm -hmm. flung off the edge of the mountain raining down like death onto the side of the mountain and all of a sudden all of the rock around the dragon starts to lift into the sky and you see her enraged tears streaming down her mm -hmm. cheeks as she says this is for sam and she makes the rocks start pelting down on the dragon as the it's being confused. smashed into the ground. It's like, <laughs> it's for me. Oh. <laughs> and my roll was a 25. And what kind of shot? Explosion. All right. What's the damage? Four. 27. 27? Uh-huh. He's got a lot of buffs right now. I have All right, so the opposite wing, the right one, you shoot right into it. You're like, you're grounded, fella. The one and that was frozen? No, he slapped the frozen part Oh, yeah, away. the frozen one, that one. So this it's... wing explodes off of his body, actually takes his right arm with it as well as this rib cage <laughs> is completely exposed. His eyes glaring bright. He turns, drawing as much energy as he can from the ground itself. And he opens his mouth wide to launch forth this bright, blinding energy blast. It is like fire times ten. This is like a plasma bolt coming from his mouth. Nope, not like that. Don't like can that. I, right. Can I try to push that back down his throat with psychokinesis? I am willing to see if you can succeed at that. Sweet. I will mark that in my head, and we'll see if you can beat that benchmark. So let's make that benchmark a little bit lower. Uh, all right, fair enough. Looking good. Uh, eighteen plus thirteen plus three, so eighteen plus sixteen is. 34. Is that all your points? That is all a lot of points. That is a lot of points. All right. So as you're sitting there with your sniper rifle, 
you see this plasma blast coming straight at you. That's why I say, nope, don't like it. Nope. And then you see this little man run, do a cartwheel, and get right in front of you and go, not today! And push his arms out right in front. And so for a moment you're blinded because all you can see is the shadow of this little man and all this bright light. Birgitta, what you would see is Zix topple into the way and push his hands forward as he shoves all of the plasma back upon the dragon. Nice. Alright. Taking its damages. As that happens, basically you see him inside and he tumbles back again. He's laying on the ground, still holding on to life, but all of this area where the the scales had been fragmented on his throat. Basically, the energy exploded out, and now he has this open wound Oof. on his throat. As he is dragging it, it's dragging forward. Basically, at this point, he's just going to try and snap down on somebody with his last breath. Wow. I'm going to shoot him. Or try to. All right, it's going to be frost. <sighs> 28. <laughs> All right. 27 damage. Yes. All right, so Bones runs across the field of battle. Gets on top of the dragon itself. Sticks his sniper rifle right into its its like face, just like slams it against his face and uh -huh. pulls the trigger as his whole brain just goes and freezes into a solid block of ice and then shatters from the sheer whoa. force. You can hear me say "whoa," like it's kind of <laughs> like Obi Wan, but like I don't give you advice. I just say "whoa." And the rest of his body <laughs> falls to the ground with a great thud. Just <laughs> I'm now one with the force. And you see this bright sphere inside its chest. Through the gaping hole of its throat, you can see that bright, blinding, white sphere of energy. I grab, or I grab at the sphere of energy. All right, so roll for con for me. Okay. Not with advantage. Yeah. <laughs> and I say guess I blew your mind <laughs> <laughs> what'd you roll I don't know how to roll interpret one. this laugh I interpret it as a bad oh wait I have a chip oh yeah he's returning it <laughs> Did you roll? What did you roll? Rolled a five. A five is better than a one. We'll find out. But this is better, much better. And he says, "This is con, right? Straight." Yeah. That's uh twenty-four. Okay. So what you would see is he actually does. He rips into the thing's chest and he pulls forth this glowing ball of light uh -huh. that he then crushes in his hand and absorbs into the armor that has, as you remember, grown up his arm and then across his chest and leg and now completes against the other arm and the other leg and then forms across his neck into his own skull mask, which now grows these large twisting horns from it and his eyes glow bright. And I'm like, hello. Because he absorbed a piece of my <laughs> I'm the new voice in your head. And so now you have this great power beating within your chest. As the rest of you would see the shell of the dragon begin to dissipate and dissolve into the ground. Mm -hmm. The temple that stands there actually fractures and begins to shatter. And as it falls away, you see sitting in the middle of it. Shackled to the ground, an energy being 
with a symbol placed upon its forehead, the triadist symbol. This would be Trion. Oh. I go over with Tom and try to see if we can find a way to free Trion. It looks at you, its eyes filled with sadness. Well, yeah, I'd be sad too if I was chained down. Uh, Tom, do you think we can break these chains? Uh, uh yeah. Sure. <laughs> he got country all of a sudden, but that's fine. <laughs> um, Tom will give you teamwork bonus. I am going to try <coughs> and use Tom's energy going through my fair kinetic weapon to cut the chain. All right. So 17 plus 2 for the teamwork bonus is 19. All I right. Guess the so the on the, the right side, you manage to slice into that chain, shackling his wrist down, and it does a large fracture to it. Okay. Almost breaking it free. Hmm. But when you do so, a large energy resonates through the, the area. Oh. And even the, the ground, the animals grow quiet. The ground almost trembles with that energy, that sound that echoes from it. And I say, don't worry, we'll have you free soon. And of course, Birgitta, you would feel this almost like a wrenching in your stomach, the energy as it travels through the ground. Would you be trying to help him free this thing or? I mean, I'm <laughs> beating the ground over by the scorch mark where Sam once was, or? Now, the energy she felt, did it feel like a Felt like thing? a massive amount of sorrow and sadness. Okay, but bad things can be sad, too. Like, just because it's sad doesn't mean it. it's a good thing. That needs to be released. But it doesn't mean it's a bad thing that needs to be continued to be chained. And we know that this is Trio. It's just been proven to us that, well, I'm probably not actually having a philosophical discussion while I'm trying to hack at chains. But you're going to have a philosophical discussion with me. Cause okay. We're uh, it's table. been proven to us that the Seraphim dragon things apparently were keeping Trion trapped here and using his energy for their own nefarious means. Fine. Can I, like, loosen the ground around these chain things? Who knows how long they've been corrupted. Can you try one to break one of the chains? I don't want to break the chain. Just I want to loosen the ground that the chain is in. So you just... I want to, like... Free the chain, but not free the creature. Well, no. Sure. Where's the chain chained into? The ground. Where's the other end? His wrist. Was it just one little chain from his wrist to the ground? Both wrists chained to the ground, yes. I want to do both. So then he's got like these chains on his wrist they so can use his weapon. This seems more practical. He's free. It's he, I can do it all in one with AOE, right? You can you can try to free him from. Let's move the ground around the chains, and then we'll he'll have. Okay. 
Just kidding. I'm too cranky to do this. So she puts her hand against the ground and she says, I'm just going to free the chains Don't from the ground. Me right now. I'm cranky. And she mm -hmm. sends a tremor through the ground, but it hits up against whatever magical barrier is upon these chains. And you yourself, as you are slicing down, you see that the chains have some sort of a weird runic symbol that is emblazed across them, and that runic symbol glows brightly in response to her attack against the chains. Glows brightly like it... Like it repels her attack and sends it back upon her, Ow. which she rolled a one and can't really evade. That would do... Um. What's your damage? My damage? Yes. Like 14. Ooh. I can't survive that though. Um, so I mean, you can do 14. I'm just, it will be a death. She's like thing. right next to me. Uh, no, she was across the way sending this, this force out. Um, I'll send a full heavy attack back. Uh, 14 damage with full magic seems a bit much. Um, so, eight. Whatever your DR can absorb, that's fine. Well, it would have been nice to cast that, so I have zero. You have no DR? Well, no, I didn't cast my storm skin. All right. So she falls. Uh, you can give me a uh, saving roll. Two. She falls unconscious from the amount of energy that this thing repels back at her. Mm. So she, she pushes this energy back and then it repels it back to her and she's pushed down to the ground, blacked out. Right. So uh, these chains seem like they were built onto this thing pretty intently. Are you sure this thing is good and not evil? The chains were what? Reflected the energy. Yes, but in this world, it's, it hasn't exactly been black and white. It's all been gray. I look at Trion and I say, Are you a good guy? Insight check. Sure, you can roll to try and perceive. I guess you're perceiving his. Intent? Yeah. Roll it off wisdom. 25? He doesn't seem to be malicious to you, but you again feel a great swell of sadness inside of you. Yeah, I think he's just sad that he's been captured and everything's happened the way it has. I look at my gun. I can free him. saw what happened to her when she attacked with magic. I can free him from lying. He no. clearly doesn't want to live anymore. No, we need to save him so that we can save the realm. I am saving him. Saving him from his internal misery. I, I want to save this realm. Are we sure that this thing... He is probably the only way... Definitely the only way remaining. Hmm. Go the distance. Ease his pain. Build it and he will... Let me see what Yakil has to say. Yeah, kill. Are you around? All right. So you're trying to commune with whatever voices have been inside the gauntlet, right? Mm hmm Give me a roll for wisdom check. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> 22. I'm guessing way better than he thought he was going to. Oi! What you want? 
And you see this image actually begin to appear next to him of a cloaked man uh -huh. with his long braided uh, handlebar mustache as he leans in. He said to seek power. This being has power, but it is sad. Well, lots of things in life are sad. A deer yes. is sad when you shoot it in the head so that you can eat. A rabbit's sad that you snared its foot so that you can have good luck. I was sad when somebody shoved a sword into my skull so that they could sell, save the realm of Valos. And guess what? That realm died anyway. So I got a sword in my head for no reason. It's a burning, splitting headache for eternity, if you know what I mean. Sad. What does sad mean? What are you asking me, boy? What's the point? What's the point of killing this thing? He wants to save this realm. Will it save the realm or will it destroy it if we kill it? If I kill it? What about its misery? Ooh. Realms. Saving realms. Killing realms. I guess the best question you can ask yourself is do you have an exit strategy if it goes south? That is the first good wisdom I've actually listened to today. And then you feel a hand rest on your shoulder as you look back and you see a hat tilt back. That's right. Because when it comes to realms and dragons and all this hoo-ha, things blow up. And if you're still here when it blows up, well... You're deader than Sam. Too so. <laughs> I hear Zick say that. <laughs> Too soon. That is such a strap more thing to say. Mm. Alright, well I guess I could try and free it and see what happens. Uh, give... Oh. Mm -mm. A third voice begins to resonate inside your skull. Mm -hmm. You have attained the armor. The armor of a Hell Knight. A Hell Knight's power isn't with you. But if you find me, then you can have all that power and more. I see before me people trying to absorb us, people trying to use us to their advantages, gods and goddesses and devils. But you, you could win, you could beat them all, and all you have to do is kill it. Kill it and take what it has. It's power. It's your power. It's supposed to be yours. Take it and come to me. Can you buy me off? No. No. Well, I'm taking a shot. Um, now, all you use... would know, you can't hear that. You can only hear the other two that are talking to him. I'm going to use my precog whenever I see him. Like, to see him getting ready to take a shot and try to pull the chain in the way of his shot instead of like basically pull the guy to where the chain will hit, get hit instead. But you wouldn't know his intent. You just know that he's, you asked him to kick, hit the chain. That's why I'm using the precog. Okay. So you're activating your precog motions? No, I'm using the battle precog. Oh, I got you. All right, so for you, mm -hmm. basically what you see is he's standing there, the armor begins to form around the sniper rifle yeah. until it becomes a part of his arm and he starts to point it forward, mm -hmm. charged with all of these runic symbols. Runic rifle. The runic rifle, yes. Mm. Well, you did just give me this. You can have it back. <laughs> I'll take it back. Oh, 
it's cocked somehow. <laughs> if it's not on a flat surface, then you gotta re-roll it. Like if it's just a tilt it up. It got cocked somehow. Alright. I'll re-roll the D20. Oh, it was so close to a perfect D20. Yeah. That was sad. It was sad. That's going to be 20. 20, and did you put an effect on that? Oh, yeah. Explosion. Uh, 28. For I used my battle precog to realize what was about to happen All right. and pull him um, this way. This is an explosion. Yeah. So, with your battle precog, you would know that this would explode, not just the chain, but anything around it. Probably. So, I'll let you decide. You can use that precog to pull the creature and stand with it to make sure the chain is hit, or you can use that precog notion to dodge out of the way because you know that the explosion would harm you. I feel like I really want this guy to live so I basically shove probably under his arm mm -hmm. to pull him away and try to hit the chain with the explosion. And kind of cover the body. All right, so your role was to successfully move him. Yeah. But not to evade any of this damage. All right, sir, what's the damage rating? I still have the mana shots, man. 27. I dropped four of that and then soak nine. <laughs> Give me a roll for death save. Okay. Basically, the explosion occurs, the chain <laughs> shatters. Did you use death save? Oh my god. Roll a one. Oh uh, my god. Are we all dead? Except for Ronnie? Is Ronnie the only person left in this campaign? Wait, why, why would you? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this has never happened to me before ever. <laughs> oh, I'm unconscious. <laughs> and zero. Oh boy. Oh, there's a huge explosion <laughs> and a small gnome flies through the air, <laughs> skittering across the ground like a rag doll as he blacks oh, out. No. Oh, Unconscious. 27. Bones. I took 13 off. This of dark that. night of destruction and chaos, Bones stands yeah. atop the ground. Now, the creature, this explodes apart the chain because he made a maneuver to save the creature. So it is only chained to the ground on one arm now. One of the arms is free. Mm hmm. As it reaches the hand out to you and says, Stop. Please. Stop. I don't listen. I, you, you don't have to. You don't have to. I mean, he's a man on a mission. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Tom. Oh. Are you going to kill all of us, Tony? Oh, Tom. What? Tom Thumb? Tom's in my hand. Oh, no. Oh. oh just his thumb. 28. <laughs> he was in a, a wood. capacitor. <laughs> 31. Holy <laughs> so Wraith Jonas Wraith would peek his head up from this bush that he was sleeping in what's going on as he sees everybody scattered across the ground unconscious and dying and he sees this dead. dark armored skull faced sniper guy walk over to this bright 
illuminating <coughs> god. Explosion, by the way. <laughs> pointing the sniper barrel that is formed into his arm directly against its head as you see a bright, blinding light explode forth throughout the area as he blasts Trion's head free from its body, absorbing all of this deific energy into himself, the ground itself beginning to decay and shatter and fall away as the two visages of Yaquil and Strathmore tilt their heads, shake them, and then dissipate back into your gauntlet. As you now stand amidst a world that is beginning to crumble. I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> no! We need you! The world is crumbling, Jones. Just slaps himself on the forehead and goes, not today, and falls back behind no. the bush. Drag my body to safety. <laughs> Now, I don't see any safety. I'm going back to sleep. I'm thinking this is a nightmare. You stand amidst all of this destruction. You know he's sleeping behind a bush. You know <laughs> the gnome and Birgitta lay unconscious and dying on the ground. Make a portal and pull our bodies through the portal. Do I even have that power? <laughs> probably not. You're possessed, aren't you? Somebody you're possessed by probably has that power. Yakil can portal people everywhere. I know this guy. I'm just kidding. I'm unconscious. I don't know anything. <laughs> I mean, I can use Chaos Enchantment, Chaos Mary, Shadow Bend, Cell Disruption, <laughs> Self Heal. Well, that would have been good to know about. <laughs> you have Resurrection in there? No. <laughs> I have Self Heal. You can roll for Wisdom to see if any of the voices know how to help you. I'm telling you, Akil is really good at portaling people away from problems. They're upset at me right now. <laughs> oh, Akil hates you! 16. <sighs> that is a partial success. So with that, I'll give you a choice. Which one of us are you? No, okay. just kidding. Probably so, though. You probably have to pick one. The voice tells you that you can use the final vestige of this god's power, this power that you have absorbed into yourself, to mm -hmm. rid the whole in existence. You better destroy this realm. It will take you to freedom. It will take you on your path to further power. You can walk through easily yourself, or you can try to save your allies, and in that case, you need to roll for dexterity in order to pull them from this place before you are consumed. So that's the gamble. You can get away. There's a D8 if you want to roll even there. Oh, he's he's digging into the backstory. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Very much so. <laughs> you know, I would have felt bad if it was just you that had died. Yeah. Um, this this path that has occurred, where each of your other allies have also—they're uh, they're not completely no dead. One has ever they, really gone. 
They are right there on the doorway, just a knocking on the door. Oh wait, maybe like. I mean, you're completely exploded. You're I'm, dead. I'm a, I'm one with the universe now, so maybe I can like help. Them. Oh no. <laughs> one of his catchphrases is, and I quote, "It sucks to suck." Is that the catchphrase he says as he walks through the portal? That's from your backstory? Yeah, that's from the backstory. Oh, Ronnie. So... <laughs> you know what you would do. Unless that's... you've changed. Uh... Since then. Hmm. That's a question, would he? Because he has... He has some empathy. He would probably try to save people. At the very least, the point. guy who bought off your contract and got yeah. you into this is right there. <clears throat> He'll try to get the group out because they helped him. All right, then. You can roll for Dex. Apparently, it was destined to you. 31. In a flurry. Like shadow alive and with meaning, he rushes through the area, first to a bush, pulling Jonas up from it, and then through towards Birgitta. He grabs her okay. under his arm, <coughs> scoops up the gnome, <coughs> and with one wave of his hand, creates this rip in existence as he jumps through does he say it sucks to suck it sucks to suck Kendra mm -hmm. as he lands on the other side solidly afoot looking back and watching as the world itself crumbles and decays into nothing and the tear in space begins to reform as he looks around setting down his allies and realizing that he is in a strange place. The material beneath his feet, the walls around him seem to be alien, but it does seem like he is in some sort of a vessel. What vessel, what ship, we don't know. You'd have to join us in a couple of weeks to find out what occurs in the final campaign of Heavenscape Phase 1. And maybe Sam will come back. Probably not. That's why what? I, said, I said maybe. We love you all and thank you for listening. <laughs> this has been Project Paradox. I want to say thank you to each one of you. And a little tidbit for your information. The initial name of this campaign that I thought was going to give too much of it away was Project Deicide. <gasps> you have fulfilled it, Ronald. <laughs> My name is Tony Stevens. I want to thank you all for Still going on this it. wild ride with us. We believe in everything we are doing, and we thank you all for giving such energy and compassion to us and listening to us. Until next time, we love you. Be good to you. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for joining us on our finale of the campaign, Project Paradox. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. If you did, make sure to head over to our website at www.saturdaynightgamingllc.com and check out some of our other awesome games. Also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe on all of our social media platforms. And be sure to join us next week as we start a new campaign called Convergence, run by our head GM, Scott Hibbert. As always, I hope you have a fantastic week. And until next time, this is Lara Hibbert with Saturday Night Gaming, signing off.